G'day and welcome back. So today I thought I'd talk about film grain and the way you should properly put it on your image. So I see a lot of YouTubers and the way they apply film grain is basically on top of the entire image. If you've seen old films, you will know that film grain actually doesn't work that way. So the way film grain works is, bring up a clip here. So this is from Vertigo. I think it's 1955, so Alfred Hitchcock. Now, if you look at this image here, as you can see, our blacks aren't showing the film grain, but our brighter areas are. That's because film grain actually works in the brighter areas, not the darker areas. So it's basically the opposite of digital noise, which works in the shadows, not so much the bright areas. So today, when we put our film grain on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the bright areas and we're not gonna put it into the shadow areas. Now, this is very easy to do. So first of all, I'll just quickly talk about the grade. It's nothing too exciting. So, so this was the image before I did the grade. As you can tell, it's quite boring and dull. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning or something. So what I've done is I've used a Kodak LUT, which you can see it's doing here. And then I've basically graded underneath that LUT. So if we put our all our nodes on, we go to this image here, which of course is a lot darker and moodier. And I really like dark and moody and it has sort of like a tearly kind of look to it. So it's not all that exciting, but I just quickly did this grade just because I wanted to do a grade. I feel like something to do. But of course, this is not about grading this video. This is about how to put film grain into the brighter areas, which of course would be these areas here, and maybe a little bit on this guy's face here. So I've labeled this node here as grain and this is where we're gonna put our film grain on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna qualify the brighter areas. So then that way when you put the film grain on, it's just gonna affect those areas, not the darker areas. Now I do this before I put the film grain on because it eases up our system a lot better. It's less stressful on it. If we put it on first, then do the qualifying, it might slow down our playback. Let's just do that now. So let's go to the qualifier section, which of course is this little eye drop down here. Now, we just want to find the brighter areas. Now, we don't need hue and we don't need saturation because we're only affecting the brighter areas. It's not about color. So let's make a point in the brightest area in our image. To bring up what we've selected, as you can see in the luminance, it's made a little box thing here with a couple of triangles on it. We can either go to the magic wand here or if you're on Windows or Mac, actually, it is Shift H. So now we have our selection here. Always with selections, I like to make it as soft as possible. That way it's more gradual in its look. It's not a sharp drop off, if that makes sense. So what we're gonna do in our lows is we're gonna come down low soft. We're gonna expand that out a little bit more. And that way it's gonna look a lot better. And in our highs, let's bring it up a little bit more. And then our lows, just bring it down. So anything that is white or gray, I guess, is areas that aren't affected by the grain, as in the grain won't be put on to that area. So anything that is selected. So as you can see, these brighter areas here, the grain will be applied to. So again, let's just soften that out a fair bit and bring it down just a little bit because we still want that gradual looking approach. We don't want it to be dark, no grain, and then no middle gray, and then bright grain. We want it to be a nice, even flow. So again, let's just smooth that up. That looks pretty good. So Shift H or a little magic wand. Now let's go to our effects and let's find our film grain. So we can either just scroll down or just spell incorrectly and click FI, which will bring up the film grain. Now let's put it on. Now I'm gonna make it a lot bigger than I normally would for two reasons. One, it's YouTube and it's gonna compress it. So we're gonna lose a lot. And the second thing is I really wanna show you what it looks like. Under presets, I'm gonna go down to 16 millimeter, 500T. And then for opacity, I'm gonna put it right up. And I put up grain size up just a little bit. Alrighty, so I've just made a couple of more adjustments. I found that it didn't look as good as I wanted to look. So I've just brought my lows down just a little bit more and I've pushed my highs all the way up to the top and I've taken off high soft. We really wanna just hit that high anyway, so there's no point it being down here. Let's see what this looks like. So again, Shift H. Alrighty, so as you can see with our film grain, it's only affecting those bright areas and it's not affecting those darker areas. So this is a much more realistic approach to adding film grain to your image. Now, that being said, 
If you don't want this look, you can actually just take it off, of course, using the qualifier. So what I can do here, so I'm going to copy it and then I'm just going to reset it. Now, if we go back to big screen, now, as you can see, our film grain is on our entire image. So it's really affecting this area here and these areas here. So this is something that not necessarily would happen when you're shooting film or obviously filming film. But if this is something that you like more, then of course you can do it. Everything is subjective when it comes to art. So if this is something you think looks better, then by all means, go for it. But I personally, when I put film grain on an image, I will usually just add it into the highlights, slightly into the mids, but not into the darks. Now I have done a video about adding film grain for free in the fusion video and I'm still trying to work out how to add it into the highlights and not into the shadows. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. If there is a qualifier you can use in Fusion, that would be very handy for a lot of things. But anyway, that's just my video about Film Grain. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know anything else about DaVinci Resolve, make sure to comment below. I'm probably going to do a grade on this footage here. I shot it really quickly, but I think it came out pretty okay. I won't do this grade here. I'll make up something new. So if you have any ideas what grade you want to see, then let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking maybe a warm brownie type of look. I've been watching a lot of Westerns lately and they do that really kind of dark brown look that I really like. So maybe something like that. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And I've been Drew from Gringo Productions.